Hey, this is Presh Talwalker. Alzim and Era participate in a game. Each has secretly picked a whole number greater than zero. Mufti, the host of a party of logicians, says, Each of you has picked a whole number greater than zero and secretly reported the number to me. I have written the sum of the numbers on one card and the product of the numbers on another card. I have randomly hidden one card and will reveal the number on the other card. The number on the other card is 2020. Mufti then asks Alzim and Era in turn, do you know the other person's number? Alzim replies, no, I do not know Era's number. Then Era replies, no, I do not know Alzim's number. Then Alzim replies, yes, I know Era's number. What is Era's number? And what can you conclude about Alzim's number? This comes from a math competition in Indonesia, and I thank Daryl for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So how can we figure it out? This is truly one of the more challenging logic puzzles I've ever come across. I struggled with this question for quite a while. It just seems impossible because you don't know whether 2020 is the sum or the product. So how can we figure it out? Let's work through the problem step by step. So to get started, we know that each has secretly picked a whole number that's greater than zero. So let's say Alzim's number is represented by X and Era's number is represented by Y. 2020 is either the sum or the product of X and Y. So if it's the sum, 2020 is equal to X plus Y. And if it's the product, 2020 is equal to X times Y. Since 2020 could be the product of X and Y, it will be useful to find all the factors of 2020. So let's get started by figuring out the prime factorization of 2020. If we divide it by two, we get 1010. This is an even number, so we divide by two again, and we get 505. This is clearly divisible by five, and we get 101, which is a prime number. So we can stop here. We can say that 2020 is equal to two squared multiplied by five, multiplied by 101. From here, let's work out all the factors of 2020. Let's write out all the different values for X and Y that could result in a product of 2020. We could of course have one multiplied by 2020 is 2020. We could also have two multiplied by 1010, four multiplied by 505, five multiplied by 404, 10 multiplied by 202, or 20 multiplied by 101. So there are 12 different factors to 2020. We have 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, 20, 101, 202, 404, 505, 1010, and 2020. So where do we go from here? Let's go to the first question. Mufti asks, do you know the other person's number? And Alzim replies, no, I don't know Era's number. So what information can we conclude from this reply? Let's take an arbitrary number and assign it to the value of X and see where the logic takes us. So let's just say that Alzim had the number X is equal to seven. Now Alzim sees that 2020 could either be the sum or the product. Imagine 2020 is the product of X and Y. In that case, we would take 2020 divided by seven, but we get something that's not a whole number. We get 28.571 approximately. So this could not possibly be era's value because it's not a whole number. In other words, 
we can't have 2020 as the product if x is equal to 7. So Alzim could conclude that 2020 must therefore be the sum of the two numbers. So it has to be equal to x plus y. So Alzim could then say that 2020 is equal to 7 plus y, which would lead to the conclusion y is equal to 2013. But in that case, Alzim would know that Era's number is 2013, and Alzim has replied, no, I can't figure out Era's number. So this is a contradiction. We can't have x is equal to 7 because Alzim would easily be able to conclude what Era's number is after seeing 2020. Similarly, imagine Alzim had the number 420. 2020 could either be the product or the sum of the two numbers. If it were the product, the other number would have to be 2020 divided by 420, which is approximately 4.810. But this is not a whole number. So Alzim would know that if he had 420, 2020 could not be the product of the two numbers. It must instead be the sum of the two numbers, but then Alzim would be able to conclude the other number has to be 2020 minus 420, which is 1600. But this is in contradiction to Alzim's reply that he can't figure out Era's number. So it's not possible that x is equal to 420. So to summarize, we know that we can't have these values, x is equal to 7 or x is equal to 420. In fact, we must have that x is a factor of 2020 in order that Alzim replies no. Era, being a perfect logician, will also realize that when Alzim says no, Alzim's number must be a factor of 2020. So now the question is posed to Era. Do you know Alzim's number? Era also replies no. So what does this reply indicate? We can once again go through a similar reasoning. Suppose that Era's number was the number 69. 2020 could either be the product of the two numbers or the sum. If it were the product, the other number would have to be 2020 divided by 69, which is approximately 29.275. But this is not a whole number. So Arrow would be able to conclude that 2020 is not the product of the two numbers, it must be the sum of the two numbers, and Arrow could figure out that Alzim's number is 2020 minus 69, which is 1951. But this is in contradiction to Era's reply that no, I don't know Alzim's number. So similarly, just as Alzim's number has to be a factor of 2020, we know that Era's number also has to be a factor of 2020. So we have that y must divide 2020. And of course, Alzim will also realize this as well. But what else can we figure out? Can Era's number be any of the factors of 2020? Let's suppose that Era's number was the factor y is equal to 20. Now 2020 is either the sum or the product of the two numbers. Suppose 2020 is the sum of the two numbers. Then we would have 2020 is equal to x plus 20, which means that x is equal to 2000. But wait a minute! Era already knows that x has to divide 2020, and 2000 is not a factor of 2020. So Era knows that x is equal to 2000 is not a possible number for Alzim. So we know that 2020 can't be the sum of the two numbers if y is equal to 20. Therefore, 2020 has to be the product of the two numbers. So Era could then conclude that I know my number is 20, and I know the product of the two numbers is 2020, so I would know that if I take 2020 and I divide it by 20, I could solve that x is equal to 101. But this is in contradiction to Era saying Era cannot figure out Alzim's number. So it's not possible that y is equal to 20. This would lead to a contradiction. So we can't just have Era's number being any of the factors we know that some of the factors can't be Era's number. Let's illustrate this with another example. Suppose that Era's number was the factor 404. 
Now let's say 2020 was the sum of the two numbers. So 2020 is equal to x plus 404. This means x is equal to 2020 minus 404, which is 1616. But wait, x has to be a factor of 2020, and 1616 is not a factor of 2020. So Arrow could conclude 2020 is not the sum of the two numbers. It must, in fact, be the product of the two numbers. But if 2020 was the product of the two numbers, Era could then say that 2020 is equal to 404 multiplied by x, and then could solve that x is equal to 5. But this is in contradiction to Era saying that he doesn't know Alzheim's number. So Era's number can also not be the factor 404. This is not a possibility. So what can we conclude? Which of the factors are permissible? Well, we know that y has to be a factor of 2020. Now, if 2020 is the sum of the two numbers, and we also need it to be a possible factor of 2020, we need 2020 minus y to also be a factor of 2020. So let's consider all possible factors of 2020 and see which of them has 2020 minus y also be a factor. So we will go through all of these 12 possibilities. We can create a little table. So if y is equal to 1, 2020 minus y is 2019. That's not a factor. If y is equal to 2, we have 2020 minus y is 2018. That's also not a factor. When y is 4, 2016 is not a factor. We have the same thing. We can just go through this list on the right, and we can see that none of these are factors until we get to 1010. Now, if we get to zero, that's not a possibility either. So what can we conclude? There's only one option that works. If y is equal to 1010, we would have 2020 minus y is also a factor. And that would be the only way that ERA is not able to deduce Alzheim's number. Alzheim, of course, works out this reasoning as well. And so at this point, Alzheim says, Yes, I am able to figure out ERA's number, and I know that is equal to 1,010. That must be ERA's number. At this point, we know that 2020 is either the sum of the two numbers or the product of the two numbers. So if it were the sum, we would know that the other number would have to be 2020 minus 1,010, which is equal to 1,010. Now, if it said 2020 were the product of the two numbers, then we would have x is equal to 2. So there are only two possibilities for Alzheim's number. It could either be 2 or 1,010. So in conclusion, ERA's number is 1,010, and Alzheim's number is either 2 or 1,010. And that's the answer. What an amazing puzzle. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.